Item number SCP-5929. Index bears against buildings. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-5929 must be surrounded by a five meter high chain link fence. The fence must be equipped with micro alarms that are set off when the perimeter is breached. During an event 5929, all personnel deemed security should be stationed within the external section of SCP-5929, while all personnel deemed integrity should be stationed within the internal section of SCP-5929. SCP-5929 has been removed from all public records and is closed off to the public under the guise of constant reconstruction efforts. All on-site personnel must be trained to diffuse, detect, and detain suicide bombers and their explosives. The full debrief for staff for containing instances of SCP-5929-A and successfully handling an assault are listed in Document 5929 and is available to all relevant staff. Description SCP-5929 refers to a library in Dallas, Texas that is assaulted one to three times every month by animated stuffed animals with explosives attached to themselves that appear to have no desire of self-preservation. The library itself displays no other anomalous properties. The recorded effect of disdain and disgust has been attributed to the poor choice of architecture of the library, which helps with containing the anomaly away from the public. Note, this includes a mural similar to that of the Hesburgh Library at the University of Notre Dame. The aforementioned animated stuffed animals are collectively referred to as SCP-5929-A. Instances of SCP-5929-A range from teddy bears to cotton dinosaurs to fluffy unicorns. In all cases, they possess similar speeds, similar behaviors, and the same explosives. The source of animation is unknown, although most researchers agree that it is not a sentient or resurrection-based form of animation, but rather a clockwork type of biological galvanization, much like a wind-up toy. Instances of SCP-5929-A manifest from an unknown source in multiple directions during an assault on the library, which is described later on. The instances also manifest with a chemical detonating explosive of unknown origin and of industrial-grade strength. It appears as though they do not know how to properly utilize the explosives, and, after materializing, they run at average running speeds for humans towards SCP-5929 until either making contact with the exterior or until 24 hours have passed after their manifestation. At this point, they will become inanimate stuffed animals deemed SCP-5929-B. If an instance makes contact with the exterior of SCP-5929 with enough pressure, the explosive attached to it will detonate and usually will cause superficial damage to the building without excessively harming its structural integrity. The main threat arises when multiple instances target the same location, which sometimes occurs. Note, this running is achieved using whatever appendages they have available. One purple snake was once recorded slithering. The aforementioned assaults on SCP-5929 by instances of SCP-5929-A occur one to three times every month, with no exceptions ever recorded as of writing. The dates appear to be random. All assaults happen at dawn within the time frame of 0110 to 0236, 86 minutes, during which a maximum of 25 stuffed animals will manifest over a period of 40 minutes. To date, there has never been a recorded instance of SCP-5929-A communicating, either amongst themselves or to on-site personnel. Thus, the true motives of SCP-5929-A remain unknown, besides a potential want of books. This is the purpose of the on-site personnel. All staff are part of the objective to investigate and organize the assets of the library in an attempt to derive more meaning from the anomaly. There has also never been a recorded instance of SCP-5929-A ever breaching SCP-5929, as Foundation personnel reportedly established containment procedures after the first attack in 2007. Further investigation into the history of SCP-5929 is ongoing.